In this video, we will work on single object two-dimensional problems. Specifically, we're going to have a box on the floor or table and a pull or push with a slanted force. When pulling, we're not pulling hard enough to lift the box. Because if we pull hard enough to lift the box, then this pulling angle will not stay constant. So we're not going to deal with these situations in this course. So just pulling along the table or pushing along the table. So we'll start with the pulling force. We're going to ignore the friction. We're looking for the acceleration of the box and the normal force acting on the box. So we have a slanted force. Suppose we don't know whether the box is going to get lifted or not. We'll have to figure that out first. To figure that out, we'll have to find the components for this slanted force. So just like what we did for the projectile motion, we're going to make a rectangle. And uh, these two are the horizontal and vertical component. This one is adjacent to the angle, so this is the cosine component. So it's 10 times the cosine 30 degrees, which gives you 8.66. That one is the same as this one, opposite to the angle, so this will be the 10 sine 30 degrees. Anyway, if you find this is cosine, that one must be the sine. This one is 5. So this one has an upward component of 5. The box weighs 20 newtons, so that's not enough to lift the box. So we know the box is not going to leave the table. That means that the box is going to have an acceleration to the right. Here we have the direction of acceleration, and then we have to draw the force diagram. Now. Sometimes you see a problem that asks you to draw a diagram that shows all the forces acting on the box. Then you would have mg. You don't really have to find the force. Usually in those cases, they just ask you to label the forces. You don't have to find the amount of the force. So you have this mg going down, and the box is touching the contact surface and the slanted force. So the contact surface can give you the normal force, no friction, only normal force. And the slanted force, and you can just draw the slanted force, 10 newtons. So this will be it. It's not touching anything else. So if you're asked to draw all of the forces acting on the box, this will be it. But for problem solving purpose, we're going to separate the horizontal and vertical direction. So I don't really find the slanted force useful. So instead of drawing this one, I would draw mg normal force. And instead of drawing the slanted force, I would draw the two components instead. So for problem solving purpose, I would draw this one. 5 going up, 8.66 to the right. Now, of course, mg is 20 because it's 2 kilograms. And then I can write my net force equals to ma. I'm going to start with the x direction. For the horizontal direction, that's all the net force I have. So the net force is 8.66 equals to m 2 kilograms times a. So the acceleration is 4.33 meters per second squared. And the acceleration goes to the right. This does not give us anything about the normal force because the normal force is in the vertical direction. So we need to write the y direction. In the y direction, what's the acceleration? There's no acceleration in the y direction. So that means upward forces and the downward force, they must be equal and cancel. The upward force is 5 plus normal force. The downward force is 20, so the normal force is 15 newtons. 
it makes sense for the normal force to be 15 because the box itself weighs 20 newtons and uh, you're lifting it with this upward component of 5 so the box seems 5 newtons lighter to the table 15 newtons now what if the slanted force is a pushing force down like this Again, we'll have to find the components. The downward component is opposite to the angle, so it is 10 times sine 30 degrees, which gives us a 5. And the horizontal component is the same as this one, so it's adjacent to the angle, so that's 10 times cosine 30 degrees, 8.66. Now notice how this one is uh, to the right and upward. So the com two components are to the right and upward. This one is to the left and down. So the two components is down and to the left. Okay, the acceleration for this box, of course, is going to accelerate to the left. Okay, if you draw all the forces acting on the box, you would have mg, the normal force going up, and the slanted force will go down that way. But for problem solving purpose, again, I'm going to draw the components. The mg would be 20 normal force, and uh, instead of drawing the slanted 10, I'm going to draw the downward 5 and uh, to the left, 8.66. So when you write the net force equals to ma in the x direction, it will be only 8.66. And that equals to m times a. So the acceleration is 4.33 meters per second square. It's just that it's to the left. In the y direction, again, this acceleration has no vertical component. In the y direction, the acceleration is zero. That means the upward and downward forces are equal. So the normal force is 20 plus 5, 25 newtons. It makes sense for it to be 25 because the box itself weighs 2 kilograms and this force pushes down on it with 5 newtons. So it's making that box seem 5 newtons heavier to the table. So 25 newtons.